I have Brendan's PC, and I'm sorry Brendan, but I am converting your PC into a sleeper build. A bunch of old garbage on the outside, but inside it's going to be a powerhouse. The problem is this thing is dirty, it is rusty, it needs a deep clean and a transformation. We are going to be building the fastest PC possible that can fit inside this case. But that is going to require a lot of modification. And best of all, I've got some GPU giveaways for you guys to celebrate ASUS's 30th anniversary of their graphics cards. I'll tell you more about this throughout the video. I think we better start with taking the PC apart. Let's go. You optimize everything, your setup, your gear, why not your wallet? Meet Unique Touch, crafted from the same aluminium alloy as spacecraft. Precision built, ultra light and indestructible. Your data stays yours. RFID blocking tech gives you peace of mind in every scan zone. This isn't fashion, it's function, efficient, minimal. Why walk around with a brick in your pocket if you can have all the cards you need in a second? This wallet is about the size of a 2.5 inch SSD, but you can store more in here than that SSD, that's for sure. And if different colors or materials are for you, then there's plenty to choose from. I also got this leather pouch, which I can attach to the front for even more storage while maintaining that small footprint. Go check them out. They've also provided a 30% discount for our audience IFR30. That's code IFR30 upon checkout. Check them out in the link below.
Step one, deep cleaning is done. Step two, pack it with power. Let's go. I'm so happy with how all of this has turned out. We've kept the original panel and I actually took apart the optical drives. I glued the front of the optical drives onto there so you wouldn't even know that it doesn't have an optical drive. And then we drilled all the extra holes for way more airflow because that was the problem with this case. Airflow was the issue, especially when we're putting high-end parts inside this case. Now with the case itself, it was rusted up, it was bunged up. We ended up cutting out some more fan holes and at the front there, we also have space to now mount the radiator and we ended up painting it a gray color which was similar to the original color but i really needed to patch up all of that bare metal especially where it was rusted and that so it looks nice and clean on the inside now i was contemplating cutting a hole on the top of this white shell to be able to install a 360 millimeter radiator up the top however with the power supply being up the top and me wanting to keep the original aesthetic as much as possible i decided against that now what really really would have made it easier is if I just had an air-cooled GPU instead of AIO-cooled, then I just could have put the 360 millimeter radiator at the front, had the GPU on air, and it would have been fine. But that is okay. We're gonna get by with what we have. Let's get into it. It's time to rebuild.
ASUS has given away a bunch of prizes to celebrate their 30th anniversary of their graphics card division. And here are just some of my favorite over the years. I have to say, my favorite series was the 3000 series. To start with, they bought out an ROG Strix RTX 3080 in white. This is when the craze of all white PC builds was going around. And of course, jumping on that trend, I didn't want to miss out on a white graphics card, so definitely one of my favorite. Next, Asus was involved in a lot of collaborations. This is the ROG Strix GeForce RTX 3090 Evangelion Edition. Unfortunately, I did miss out on the red one because they did two collaborations with them, but we did manage to get this and I have snuck this in quite a few builds, quite a unique card. But I have to say my most favorite card of all time has to be this little 24 gig Asus EKWB GPU. It is a one slot pre-blocked RTX 3090, 24 gigs of VRAM. Now you can imagine with all of the graphics cards on the market becoming as large as they are, seeing something this small was quite refreshing because I was now able to put a really high-end GPU into a lot of ITX builds and water cool them. And you guys know I love my water cooling, so this was a breath of fresh air and I absolutely love it. And then moving on to our ROG Astral GeForce RTX 5090. This is Asus's top of the line GPU. This is what we're gonna be using in today's build. And guys, to celebrate, Asus is giving away a bunch of prizes, one of them including a very special graphics card. So if you're interested, guys, go check out the link down below and let me know in the comments what your favorite Asus GPU has been in their 30 years of GPU manufacturing. Gaming on this system, I was very worried about reduced airflow compared to most modern cases. Avatar 4K Ultra settings, we saw a CPU temperature of 62 degrees Celsius and a GPU temperature of 54 degrees. We also achieved an average of 111 FPS. I think that by installing fans down the bottom and bringing up that fresh air straight into the GPU radiator really helped with the temperatures. In Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, Ultra 4K settings, our CPU hit 61 degrees, our GPU sat around 50 50 degrees and we achieved an average of 150 FPS. Because we had no exhaust up the top, I feel like by switching our exhaust to the front of the case actually really helped with the temperatures. Horizon Zero Dawn remastered 4K high settings. The CPU hit 50 degrees. The GPU also only hit 50 degrees and we achieved an average of 117 FPS. I think without drilling the extra holes at the front of this PC case, it would have been an oven for these parts. Black Myth Wukong 4K cinematic settings. We saw 
a CPU temperature of 52 degrees, GPU temperature of 53 degrees, and an average of 78 FPS. Well, Asus really has come in clutch, guys. Without them, this build would not be possible. And so they're giving away a bunch of prizes to celebrate their 30th anniversary for their GPU manufacturing. So if you guys want to enter, go check out the link below. I mean, what do you got to lose? There's free GPUs and other prizes up for grabs. Go for it. And if you like videos like this, then consider checking out this video right here, where we transformed an old dusty nightmare into an awesome budget Fortnite PC. Go check it out.